What's going on guys, it's your pal Jaden Lame here. Today I will be explaining why um, if you're friends with a first responder and you get a Utah frequency on this, but you basically, as you see, you're living in Florida and you try to listen to the calls on the handheld radio scanner for law enforcement, for, sorry, for, for, for first responders aviation or yeah first responders or aviation then i will be teaching you what will be going on with this now i will be saying this now and we will be having the text in the video i will not say the radio frequency of what this is programs on so okay of course you see welcome S Selecting or scanning, receiving. Now, let's say you're in Utah and one of your friends in Salt Lake City, you're a first responder friend with, gives you a frequency code once you have this. Now, once you go through here, now you can he hear there's n absolutely nothing. So let's check. Let's just do this frequency. So, for example, if we leave it like this, actually, we it's gonna fall. <laughs> and let's be quiet for a few minutes. All you can hear is nothing. So, basically, in this episode of James Hubble, I'll explain why you're not hearing any. You. Uh, Utah State emergency calls on this. Now, if you got the frequency code, you input it in and programmed it into the scanner. Now, again, let's be quiet for a few minutes and let you listen. It's just dead quiet. And I know in first responders there, you're not allowed to say the Q word. But, um, anyway... In today's video, that's why I'm explaining why you can't hear first responder radio frequencies in the state of Utah if you're living in Florida. Now again, dead quiet. So, basically, I just found this out. So, if you're in Florida and you put the frequency you have on a handheld scanner... And you try listening to the calls. It will not transmit the audio from the Utah State from the frequency you inputted and programs into the scanner. And it will be transmitted all the way into Florida. Now, quiet. So, basically, if you're in the state you're in, like you're in Utah and you have the frequency put on... Utah that you have then you're able to hear the calls but if you're in Florida and you programmed it into the Utah first responder frequency you won't be able to hear anything now if we go uh let's see let's keep holding it down so I can get a perfect transmission So, with all these frequencies, if it's like in Florida State, you're able to hear the frequencies. Now, as you can see, these are all Florida frequencies, but if you have it set to the Utah frequency, you will not be able to receive any calls that come through the handheld scanner if you're living in Florida and you want to hear the calls from Utah. So, even though you want to try to listen to it, unfortunately, you cannot. So, anyways, that's that's going to be today's video. It includes today's video of why you cannot listen to Utah frequencies 
on a handheld radio scanner. Now you know. So, if you're in that particular area, like in Utah State, like in Provo, Payson, or Salt Lake City, whatever, and you have the, the frequency put inputted into the handheld scanner, you will not be able to receive any calls coming through the audio from the scanner. Now, unless you're in Utah and you put the frequency in the handheld scanner or you turn it on, now you're able to hear it. But, if you're in Florida and you put it into the Utah frequency, you're not able to hear it. Now, that is going to be to concludes today's video. Hope you find it interesting. Like, hope, oh my god, I'm sorry. Hope you find this video interesting of why you can't hear any emergency calls coming through the Utah frequency if you live in Florida. So, that's going to be all for today. Have a I'll make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.